That action would likely be in the form of an executive order, but the Trump administration has stopped short of releasing any specifics. We are hearing it is just a draft at this point, although, according to a White House official, the order would restore fairness to the system. President Trump has issued numerous warnings that he's watching social media giants very closely. Massive multinational tech companies have gained enormous power to censor opinions. The commander in chief accusing the tech companies of discriminating against conservatives. Now that talk possibly turning into action with reports the White House is drafting an executive order. An official told Politico that most of Twitter is liberal cesspools of venom and that the president wants some fairness in the system. Chris, if the White House does move forward with this executive order, could they face lawsuits? I, I think it's a possibility. Uh, you know, the First Amendment protects Americans from the government restricting any sort of speech. Chris Lewis is the president and CEO of Public Knowledge. As an advocate for strong due process, he believes the user has the right to appeal any content taken down. Although, Lewis says he's not seen evidence of bias against political speech. Social media users share things to express their opinions. Why do you think companies feel the need to silence them? When there is uh, moderation of speech online, it's typically for reasons that violate um, the practices and, and rules of the platform. And, and that's often for uh, hateful, racist, uh, violent speech. Um, and, and I think that's a good thing. Uh, and it's, it's a fair debate on if there should be that level of moderation. Conservatives believe they've seen the bias, and many are pointing at Twitter for locking Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's re-election campaign account Thursday after it posted video of a profanity-laden protest outside the senator's Kentucky home. McConnell's campaign manager Kevin Golden said Twitter will allow the words Massacre Mitch to trend nationally on their platform but locks out our account for posting actual threats against us. Twitter said the account will remain locked until they delete the video. Is there a concern over violence extremism on social media? There's definitely a concern. Uh, and this is why uh, we need to work with the social media companies to uh, fine-tune how they do their moderation. And again, this executive order is in an early stage. It's not even clear what the penalties would be for violating the president's order. Ben Kennedy, CBN News, the White House.